So the Major Domo Handicap Chase is next in, and this is a, a something other, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> it's a 0 to 120, 3 mile 1 furlong handicap, and the top one is Standout King Darren Howes, Uncle Bunge, Obi Wan, Fasson, Melancholique, Martin Leedham, Brace for in background, Clutterbuck, Streets of War, Darren Howes, Cutter Dash, Daniel French, Sister Winning, Doug Warren, Jamaican Ride, Stu Gray, Jenny Black, Alex Cherry, and Heather Oscar, Doug Warren. So just 10 then. Well, a small side field for, size field for this handicap as we get another aerial sweep. The rain has stopped now, though, so you can see the difference in the skies. And they're called in under the big screen, and away they go. And Uncle Bunge is the first one to show being driven into the lead by the jockey. Obviously, he wants that one to be to the four as they race towards the first of 20 obstacles in this particular race. The first fence is some way off yet. The second will be the water job, I think, with Uncle Bunge the leader. They sort themselves out. The camera decides where he wants to be. And we race down towards the first fence. Uncle Bunge in the lead then by about four or five to Sister Winner in second. Plenty of orange in this race, as you can see, as they take the first. And they're all safely over that one. Looks like it might be a double entry race as well. And only ten runners in a double entry race, so these double entry races are not causing the problems that people thought they would. It's been a Complete success in my book as we take the water. And Uncle Bunge is five lengths clear of the two Doug Warren horses, sister winning down Heather Oscar. Brace for impact on the outside, and the uh, first of the orange horses is three. Oh, there's a fall there. There's one gone. Streets of War's gone. That's one of the orange horses, and it's Darren Howes. And it's the curse has struck again for Darren Howes. And when I'm doing the commentating, these horses fall over, so I'm sure it'll be sort of. Hoping I'll retire soon. Anyway, Uncle Bunge is the leader by a good six or seven lengths now then. To Sister winning in second. Brace for impact is in third. Then Cutter Dash is fourth. Fasson Melancholic is on the inside in fifth as they take number five. That's a big ditch. And they're all over that one, including Darren Houses of the horse standout king. So Uncle Bunge then. So they're racing downhill now. Towards this next one. Big jump by the leader. Quick jump by the horse in second. Brace for impacts, and they're quite well strung out, considering there's only nine of them left, and they've not gone all that far yet. They've still got over two miles to race, covered about a mile so far, and Uncle Bunge is the leader racing away towards the next, with Brace for impact second. Sister winning will take it third, Fasson Melancholic off the rail in fourth, the grey on the outside of that one is cut a dash, and then standout King just tucked in behind them, a little bit gap back then to Jenny Black, and then Hover Heather Oscar and... Jamaican ride is the back marker. So they come down to the eighth then and Uncle Bunge leads them over it. Brace for impact didn't jump it all that well. And it looks like we might be getting some more jockey coming. As he caught the straight same as in the last race. We're on Jenny Black at this point, who is you can see a good four or five lengths behind the horse in front. Looks like Brace for Impact. And Heather Oscar and Jamaican Ride are behind. Jenny Black at this stage, so try and keep an eye on what's going on as we enjoy the view of Jenny Black's ears. We'll come down towards the next end. And I think they're all over that one okay. This one will be the last on the next circuit. And everybody's over that one as well. Now back on the back on the roof again. And we see them racing away. their final circuit and we've lost them behind the screen and now we're back here we go then it's Uncle Bunge from Cutter Dash who's gone second while all that was happening Sister Winner is third Standout King is fourth Fasson Melancholy has gone back on the rail again then Brace for Impact and still a bit of a gap back to Jenny Black and Heather Oscar Jamaican Ride pulled up at some point during all the Cecil B. De Mill antics as we take the next and Uncle Bunge in the lead from Cutter Dash second Sister were in third and then Standout King fourth. Fasson Melancholique is in fifth. And then Brace for Impacts, Jenny Black and Heather Oscar as they skip over the water. All nicely over that one. And Uncle Bunge in the lead. As he has been right from the outset. Nothing got within a length of him yet, I don't think. And cut a dash, the grey. Looks to be the first one that's going to try and do that as they all skip over number 13. And Uncle Bunge leads by a couple to cut a dash second. Standout King is moving into third. That's on Melancholy back on that rail again with Heather Oscar as they take the next. It's not Heather Oscar, sorry, it's Sister Winning. The two horses mixed up there. They 
It's all going bungee in the lead still. Less than a mile to race now then. And Uncle Bunge lands in the lead. On Cutter Dash and Standout King as they race away from us down towards the next. With Uncle Bunge in the yellow from Cutter Dash in the orange in second. The black cleave and orange jacket of Standout King a third. Then comes Sister will embrace for him back. Fals on Bell Uncle Link is still on the inside. Get a little bit closer now. Jenny Black and Heather Oscar. Racing there towards the fourth from home. And Uncle Bunge is being challenged for the first time by Standout King and Cutter Dash. Uncle Bunge landed in the lead though still. Why well, about ahead to Standout King on the outside. Cutter Dash going to try and come between the two. Brace for impact. Fast on Melancholy and Sister winning all in the line. Jenny Black and Heather Oscar with work to do. Three to jump. And now Standout King comes to challenge for the lead. And over that one a better jump though by Uncle Bunge. And Uncle Bunge goes back into the lead again. Uncle Bunge is now about a length clear. Here comes Fast on Men Melancholy with the run. But the jockey's got nowhere to go. Totally boxed in and Standout King takes it up Standout King from Uncle Bunge then cut and dash fast on Melancholy pulling off the road trying to look for room then comes Brace for Impact and Star winning they've got two more to take and it's Standout King in the lead fast on Melancholy now throwing out a challenge on the outside Uncle Bunge looks beaten cut and dash looks one pace it's Standout King and fast on Melancholy at the second last good jump by fast on Melancholy on the outside and fast on Melancholy takes it up Standout King in second and coming out towards the final fence then now and fast on Melancholy can quick Jump gets over it well, gets away from it well. Standout King's in second. Sister Williams in third. Uncle Bunge's in fourth. Into the final third on they go. And Fasson Melancholy races up the hill from Standout King in second. Sister Williams back in third. But Fasson Melancholy looks like he's going to take this one. And up towards the line, Fasson Melancholy is the winner. Standout King in second. Sister Williams is third. Could have four. Uncle Bunge five. Then Brace for impact. And Jenny Will. Heather Oscar pulled up towards the end of the race. And well, that was a very strange result there. Fasson Melancholy wins it for Martin Leadham, Standout King for Darren Howell second, Sister William for Doug Warren third, Cutter Dash for Daniel French was fourth, and Uncle Bunch for Obi-Wan was fifth. May as well um, be honest about this, Fast on Melancholy is mine and was supposed to be transferred out in the transfer window, but I didn't get it done in time before the deadline. Just goes to show you never know what's going to happen.